Hello there. Tonight's brush is my Thater Bore which I've had sitting in the scuttle soaking and the soap tonight is Check and Speaks number 88. Now this is a a woody kind of sandalwoody kind of there's uh, I, vetiver I think in here and um, there's some rose auto which I don't know what that is but I know I saw it in the ingredients list there's uh, It's a, it's a nice, uh, woody, masculine type of scent. Uh, there's, to me, it, it, there's not a lot of green at all in it. Uh, it's just a really nice, classy, classic kind of scent. And we're going to... load up a brush and start shaving got my scuttle which I use quite a bit even in warmer months or yeah even in warmer months but uh, it's you know it's fall now and around here it's turning into a chilly fall uh, the temperatures yesterday didn't go above like 62 or so. Last night was, I think, 40 some degrees on the low side of 40. Uh, tonight, they're calling for a low of 35. Uh, so, we're starting to get into the fall, the late fall kind of stuff. Our leaves haven't quite turned completely yet. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping that I will have the time and the opportunity. I don't know if I will, but I'm hoping I'll have the time and the opportunity here when our leaves finally turn color and you get the beautiful gold and red colors to go up on Skyline Drive and take some really wide really wide angle shots down into the valley with my camera during that time don't know if that opportunity will actually prevent it, present itself or not depending on what all I have to do that's lovely I want to put just a hair more water in that because I it's just feeling like inside the brush as I lather it that it needed a bit of that so I've got a bit of growth. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the face. And lather up. Lovely. It's a fantastic bore brush. I believe it's I haven't shaved with it in a three or four shades probably or so been shaving with it it's kind of often because it's a bore and it needs the uh, the breaking in it seems like to me that it's broken in just sitting on the shelf <laughs> yeah I know that's probably not so although you know people have all kind of theories of why a bore brush 
hair split yeah. and uh, you know what makes that happen and all. Some people think it's uh, becoming wet. It looks like I got uh, if there's a little spot in the middle of the screen I'm not going to stick my finger in there and get my fingerprints on that but, but it looks like I got a little dot of lather right dead in the middle of the lens so if that's what that is if you see something but I mean who knows what causes it for sure some people think well it's you know using the brush when it's wet and then letting it dry I don't know uh, today's razor is my Sprock 6.8 full hollow in Hawaiian Koa scales wonderful blade Hamburg ground that's Hamburg Germany in case people don't know what that means it's, it's German steel and that's lovely you should have seen the honing video on this or it should have it should be up at least on my channel by the time you by the time this video airs lovely That's a lovely Shubadani finished edge. Beautiful. Stuff is lovely slick. Very rich lather. That's beautiful. Razor was a gift from Brian Hendry. Thanks, Brian. That's a lovely shave. I have a wedge or near wedge that is French steel that he or French made that he also sent me that I need to make scales for when I get the opportunity when time comes around to hone that one I'll probably post that too for those of you that might be interested I will more than likely finish that on a cotty using the method that Dr. Matt, Matt Robbins helped to propagate. He would tell you that's really not his method. It's He learned it from others. And I, I assume uh, altered it for himself, which is uh, the beauty of straight razor shaving, straight razor honing and stuff, all the techniques and, and everything can be personal, personalized and altered to suit 
what you need as long as you understand what the basics are and why you're doing it. That right there. <laughs> That's lovely. Beautiful shade. Well worth the time I had to wait until I got the opportunity to work on that blade. Just lovely. Stand by. I want to dry off my hands a bit and we're gonna finish with your lanes vetiver after shave oh yeah oh yes that'll work Alright, God bless you. Thank you for coming along. I'll talk to you later.